about my harp ukulele and how I play it and just some of my thoughts about it. So my harp ukulele is made by a company called Anui Nui. They're a Taiwanese company. Um, they make wonderful ukuleles. So my harp ukulele has uh, just a normal tenor ukulele part to it, which is just these four strings right here. And these are tuned uh, low G, C, E, A, just like a normal tenor ukulele. And then there are these four extra bass harp strings. And right now I have them tuned to F, A, C, and D, uh, but you could tune them to whatever you want. And people tune them to all kinds of different notes. Now I've seen other harp ukuleles with different amounts of uh, harp strings. Sometimes they can come with even just one bass harp string. Sometimes they have two, three, four, etc. So it really varies depending on who's made the instrument. I would love it if it had more than four. If you know anybody making harp ukuleles, or if you make one yourself and you want to send me one that has more than for bass strings, I would love to have one. Believe it or not, harp ukuleles used to be more popular in the United States back in like the 19 teens. And it used, actually used to be an instrument that door-to-door -door salesmen would go around uh, selling to people. I think back then they used to go around to people's doors and sell sort of weird, strange instruments, and this was one of them. Um, so there were actually more people who were playing it back then than there are now. Um, I would love to see a resurgence of the harp ukulele, especially because ukulele is getting so popular these days. Now, the harp guitar is very similar to the harp ukulele. It's the exact same concept, except instead of the ukulele body, it has a guitar body. Um, and that's a bit more common to find harp guitar players than harp ukulele players. Um, but the reason why I think harp ukuleles are so nice is because um, a ukulele is a very high-pitched instrument, and so it's really nice to have those low bass harp strings to sort of round out the sound and add up. It really gives the instrument a lot more depth and color and uh, variety, and it's really nice. So when I'm playing this instrument out in the world, um, I usually need to have it plugged into an amp in order to hear those bass harp strings because they're so low, it's really hard to even hear them if you don't have them plugged into an amp. And if you're recording it, you don't need to have it plugged in. If you have a microphone that's close up to the strings, then it will definitely pick up the sound of those strings. But if you're performing live or if you're performing on the street or wherever you are performing, it's really, uh, I need to have it plugged into an amp because otherwise you just don't even hear those low bass strings. So something that's important to mention is that these bass harp strings are drone strings, which which means they can only be tuned to one note each. So you have to kind of pick which four bass notes you want to have in your song and then use them accordingly. Um, so every time I do play with um, my harp ukulele and use these bass notes, I kind of need to think it through a little bit before I play the song. Sometimes um, it's nice to have a little bit of time to sort of almost arrange, you know, where I'm going to be playing the different bass notes and where, where I could place it in different chords and stuff. Um, or do I need to tune one of my strings to a different note so that I have another bass note that might be more useful than this other one? So you kind of have to choose your four notes accordingly and go with them. Um, they are a little bit uh, hard to retune um, quickly. So whenever I'm playing a live performance, I usually just have them set to one tuning. Usually it's F, A, C, and D that I tend to play a lot of stuff in that tuning. Um, and then I'll just leave it like that for the whole concert. The strings really take like a few minutes to tune and I'm just not very good at telling jokes on stage while I'm tuning, so I like to keep my amount of tuning very short when I'm performing. As I said, mine are tuned to F, A, C, and D. You could tune them to any four notes you want though, so people tune them to all kinds of stuff. So really the sky is the limit. Now, how I actually play these harp strings, I only use my thumb to pluck these four harp strings. Now, I'm not saying that's what you should do. I'm sure there are other people who use their other fingers to pluck the strings and it's really awesome and great. I'm just telling you what I personally do. I'm still learning how to play this instrument um, because it's a little hard to find harp ukulele teachers um, anywhere and um, even harp guitar teachers are easier to find but still not easy to find. So you kind of have to figure it out yourself a little bit. So I'm still figuring it out even after all these years. Um, but yeah, I use my thumb to pluck these, these bass harp strings and then I'll use all five of my fingers to pluck the ukulele strings. Now, it's very hard to strum the ukulele and pluck the harp strings at the same time. So I tend to incorporate these harp strings when I'm doing more finger picking stuff. Usually when I'm strumming, I just kind of abandon them and just strum. I'm sure some people who are better musicians than me could uh, figure out a way to strum and pluck at the same time. But if you're strumming really fast, like it's, it just seems very difficult. Um, and I am very impressed if you can do that, but I have not mastered that yet and it just does not sound good when I do it. So um, I will just pluck the strings and you can alternate them like this. Or you can pluck them at the same time. You know, well I guess that's, those are the only 
two options you could do is plucking them at the same time as the other strings or not plucking them at the same time as the other strings, but that's my obvious statement of the day. Um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it is you just use your thumb and you know, you look at the chords you're playing and you think, okay, could I use any of these notes, the, these four notes in any of those chords? So would this bass note sound good over any of these chords? And sometimes even though the chord has that note in it, sometimes it still doesn't sound good to use it with the chord because it's just it's just feels weird to play it as the bass note. You know, it's really like you're writing a bass line or something like that, but you only have four notes to do it with. So it's a little bit of an interesting process, but it's fun. This uh, harp ukulele that they made was designed by Pete Howlett, actually. And it actually ended up being a very limited edition Thing. And I didn't know it at the time that I bought it. I just kind of got lucky and bought it But I think they might have even only sold like hundred and fifty of them I heard that somewhere correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I, I think it was very very few of them were actually sold um, So it ended up being this super limited edition thing um, I was just looking for a stringed instrument to play one night on late at night I was on a YouTube poll and I was just watching video after video. Maybe that's why you're here yourself You're just on a YouTube black hole um, and if you are, hey, I know where you are, I've been there. Um, but anyway, I stumbled across a video of a harp ukulele and I thought, wow, that thing is so beautiful and I love the way it sounded. And um, I thought, let me see if I could buy one. Um, and so I looked and lo and behold, there was one for sale on Amazon of all places. And so I ordered it from Amazon and it arrived and I was very fortunate that it was a uh, beautiful instrument when I tried it out. I thought, wow, this was really nicely made. I get messages from people asking all the time where they can buy harp ukuleles, and I never really know where to direct them because the only one I've ever tried personally is this one that's made by Inui Nui. Um, and I can say that this one is amazing, but I can't speak about any of the other ones out there. So, um, if you guys do play harp ukulele and you have one made by someone else, um, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Um, let us know so other people can know as well, um, and I'd be curious to hear, you know, who, who's making really nice ones these days. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome, my name is Gracie. I post one video a week here on YouTube, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you on board. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to say hey. And if you like my channel, I would love if you could spread the word about it to your friends and family, because the more people we have here, the better. I want to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, because they make it possible for me to make these videos for you. Uh, their support really, really, really helps a lot financially, um, and so I am very, very grateful to all of you, so thank you. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon supporter, I have a link in the description below. Check it out. Um, if you have any other questions about my harp ukulele, or just about my musical journey in general and you want to hear more, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other questions that you'd like me to answer. I can easily make a follow-up video to this one. So uh, let me know if you have any other questions. And that is it. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I will see you next week.